Keep your eyes peeled for a guy who stole thousands of dollars worth of sunglasses. That's a request from the LAPD after a man with a gun cleaned out a Woodland Hills store. CBS 2's Serene Branson is live in Woodland Hills to tell us why police are stunned by how far the robber went to get the job done. Serene? And Rick, this all happened around 9.30 in the morning, just as most of the stores here at the Upscale Village Shopping Center on Topanga Canyon Boulevard were about to open. Now, detectives have dubbed him the Ocean's 11 Bandit because of the brazen way he tried to cover up the crime and then walked out of the store with his face in full view. And she's just opening up. Then here he comes. And he's kind of fumbling with the knife. Watch as the suspect forces the Sunglass Hut employee to the back to disarm the alarm. Then, holding her hair, he takes her to the front to lock the door. Detectives say he threatens to hurt her if she doesn't comply. He grabs a ladder from the back. Now he's wearing latex gloves. And a mask and bandana. He methodically spray paints all five store cameras black. Typically, when people commit robberies, they primarily want to get in and out as quickly as they can. Uh, in this case, uh, he, he did spend some time in the store, uh, took the time to, to, you know, spray out the cameras. Detective Fernando Avila says this was on the morning of July 6th. When the suspect leaves the store with $10,000 worth of designer shades and trash bags, he walks right past people. It was something that we were talking about in the station, you know, Ocean's Eleven, when you talk about, you know, the, the brazen uh, acts, you know, broad daylight, busy mall. Uh, not really worried about, you know, who might uh, come along. The heist is impossible. He's referring to the film where robbers commit a brazen heist of a Vegas casino. It's just amazing that something like this happens. I never heard the Ocean Eleven spray. Wow. I'm just shocked. Layla Baporian says she takes her kids there all the time during the summer at that hour, and other village shoppers were stunned. It seems kind of uh, elaborate for our area, and it's a nice center, you know. I would think that they have enough security over there for things like that. Now, we were not allowed inside the store with our camera, but I went inside to speak to the manager, and I noticed a security guard by the front door. The manager told me that is a new addition since this robbery took place. Now, I did reach out to Westfield Shopping Town, which owns the village, to see if they've beefed up security. I've not received any calls back just yet. Detectives say if you know the guy in this video, they would love to hear from you.